show. Nice, nice. We can commence this interview. Yeah. So how are the crews? Are, Good. Have they departed from the premises? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad? Just you left? Was that just lagging a little bit though again? I, I mean, uh, are you the only one left in the premises? Eh? Oh my god. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What is... Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. What's going on? Hey, dropped out for a second. <laughs> Was that something... Um, was that due to something wrong on my end? Hello? Uh, it's like, looks like that. Lighting? Still? But you can hear me, right? Yep. Great. <laughs> let's commence. Let's... There's just a few second lag between... Yeah, let's give so it a go. Few seconds. <laughs> okay, great. So, uh, my dear fellow audiences, welcome to my channel and the program. Here I am, having, uh, I am about to commence the interview with my dear friend and partner, um, Aaron, here. Um, I'd like to ask you several questions here, Aaron. Um, last time you mentioned about... Um, sure. Yeah, you... you um, Last time you mentioned about, uh, you know, we can still survive without having to make money. We can choose to reject money as long as we are in Australia, not in some other countries like the States or, you know, especially, you know, uh, those com those countries which um, in implement in implement cap capital capitalist systems. Certainly. You know what I'm um, here? Yeah. Look, capitalism is not all bad, and I do think it's um, necessary for both international trade and for nation building. It is probably one of the best systems out there for it. Mm -hmm. Um. It isn't foolproof. Um, I haven't seen, well, we've, we've never seen a pure capitalist system. Um, we've seen a lot of variations of capitalism, but we haven't seen one that works for everybody or even the majority. Mm -hmm. um, capitalism is great for the nation. I do think it's lazy government. Easy, um, it does make things easy, easy because easy. Mm -hmm. everyone is required to participate and if they don't, they get left behind and they can't survive. Um, so you are creating basically a slave class. Mm -hmm. um, now... One of the reasons why I think it's lazy to just say, okay, let's adopt capitalism and no other system, mm -hmm. is that a nation has to look at a few things. It has to look at the citizens that are living inside the nation and also mm -hmm. how do we deal with trading with other nations. Mm -hmm. um, to address that, we're trying to just create one system to address two completely different needs of a nation. Mm -hmm. When we're not creating up two or more systems. Now, on top of that, even if you do fall back capitalism, um, there are some people that are going to be left behind and then they don't help the nation in any way. Um, they're born, they're a burden on society. And that's it. If you're looking at the from a capitalism perspective, what you need to do is when you have people, groups, or businesses or movements that aren't addressed by the system, you need other systems that can cater for that. Otherwise, it's just a complete waste of resources. 
Um, especially in Australia, we do seem to be closed to adopting other systems. Um, we are heading closer to being a social democracy, though, um, which is what a lot of Europe has adopted. They've tried to mix socialism and socialism, socialism um, capitalism, but with capitalism uh, still being the main the main driving factor. Mm -hmm. um, so they try to socialize the things that are necessity ne necessary for survival, um, such as health and education. Um, yep. But they, when it comes to still housing and food, that is still really things that are even more important. That is still purely based on capitalism in European countries, including Scandinavia. Um, so it is interesting. I don't think there is any political theorist or philosopher who has come up with the ultimate system, but I do think that having more than one system at your disposal um, is definitely a better option. Now, in Australia and in a few countries, there is a growing movement of people who refuse to depend on capitalism, so they refuse debt. Mm -hmm. They don't buy into... They actually... Sort of being slaves to the system, so they forego... Uh -huh. I mean... So, ca capitalism enslaves people by using debt mechanisms, and those debt mechanisms are uh, promoted through trying to sell debt for education, sell debt for um, consumerism, and sell debt for home ownership. They're the three big ones, and so there's a lot of people that are just rejecting home ownership. Um, rejecting a university education mm -hmm. and rejecting buying the latest iPhone, etc. Um, now, a lot of these people are finding they do have to make sacrifices in their life because there's a lot of things that they can't buy. They have to forego materialism. But at the same time, they do have freedom from the state. Um, unfortunately, it also means that they don't have a lot of power up. Well, they don't have a voice with the state because they end up not contributing taxes um, because they do not have an income. Um, the vast majority of services and products that they need, they get through barter and trade mm -hmm. um, and not using cash. You mean this means that regardless of the value of cash or how much cash they do or do not have, they can still survive. And they can actually build quite life. Um, there's a few at the moment that are, a, lo a lot of people that are sort of in these movements are in a city or um, living in metropolitan areas. Uh, but there are many people in the movement that are really trying to look into regional development um, mm -hmm. and try to build cashless communities in regional Australia. Um, so how does that system work so far? It's... it's a, you mean uh, you mentioned so far, cashless um, society in regional that, Australia? At the moment, there's a lot of sacrifices, um, but each year there's less and less that people have to give up um, as this community builds. Um, at the moment, it's still very much a hippie following. Declining? Um, but there are an increasing number of um, intellectuals, academics, etc., joining the movement. There are those that have been in medicine and law and just don't like the pressures of society that are just dropping out of their profession and, going and trying to live off the land. Mm -hmm. um, I do think if the movement gains traction in Australia, for example, getting to the level of two, three, four, even 5% of the population, um, 
it's going to force the government into a rethink. Um, it's going to massively affect our GDP. It's going to massively affect the way that people vote and interact with the government. It's going to massively affect how traditional investments are made. Um, and that's I, I, I think those numbers will be achieved in the next 10 years. And if a government does not address that very, very soon, they're going to be forced to address it sooner or later. And uh, you think, and you reckon that will certainly pro um, profoundly affect Australia's um, visa policies, right? Against certain subclasses of visa, <laughs> especially re regional migration and uh, skills migration, right? Um. Australia does need to rethink its migration policies. We don't have a system that works for us and we haven't for a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't think this will have much bearing on it. I do think that's a completely separate issue. Um, I do think a migration policy should be merit-based and points-based. Um, and I do support having longer temporary resident visas so we can find if someone's actually a good fit for Australia. You, you do support um, that. <laughs> and then have the community of Australia have a... Sorry. I think having um, the community in Australia having a much larger say mm -hmm. into sponsoring a person mm -hmm. would be a good way forward instead of just having some bureaucrat somewhere. Bureaucrats, yeah. Which is what yeah, they want I, to bring in or not. Um, I, I agree Especially with that. if the community is one that has we to need, support them. We need the community mm -hmm. sponsorship program, um, in other words, right? And community we have the technology these days to do it. Mm -hmm. Canada's tried it with their refugee program. So Canada, with their refugee, refugee program, tried something very, very interesting in that and can sponsor a refugee. Mm -hmm. um, I have. The application fees, I think, like $30,000 or $40,000. And then they are res that person who sponsors them is responsible for ongoing medical and welfare expenses until a couple of years. Um, I do think it's a good system. It's... I do think we can base a lot of our migration... Hmm. policies around that concept there's people here that say hey i think they can be a good contributor good contributor to australia hmm. then i do think we should have those mechanisms there uh, nice <laughs> <laughs> because drinking beer and I'm drinking some plain mineral water yep nice don't you think it's um, been alcohol a could, tough could, day already? <laughs> oh, really? Don't you think alcohol mm. would out, out, alter your perception, your especially um, visual and spatial perception during work? Um, one's not going to. You are, uh, so you don't have seven or eight, might. <laughs> oh, really? So you don't actually have yeah. any, um any work um, in the field so you're just um, just gonna sit in front of the computers and do the work for um, for today right uh that's right i'm just catching up on reading today reading so you so you, you got lots of um, work that relates to reading. with um i had a bit of turmoil yesterday with work um Care to elaborate? It's not something I'll talk about here, but we end up um, getting rid of a bunch of staff, senior staff too. Really? Which was a bit of a headache, so I'm sort of dealing with it today a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just trying to revise the hiring process. Are you going to um, rent? Are you going to? Um, render someone re redundant, you are going to lay them off? 
Uh, already, two. Already? Shit. Yes. I, I feel so sorry for them. But you you do yeah, um, have given them... I, I, I don't feel sorry for them. They were, all from, they were on the payroll of our competitor. So you mean the, the competitors bribed them? Bribed them off? They work for our competitor. They've uh -huh. come to work for us to try to undermine some of the research that we're involved in. Shit. Um, yes. So are you gonna hire somebody else to, to fill in that blanks? Can you hire me? Um, that's, that's one thing of at the moment, if I need to replace my if I can pick up the work myself. <laughs> At the moment, I think it's safest to lock things down and not bring on anyone new. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, yes, at, at the moment, just revising vetting procedures. But uh, uh, those procedures you are revising, um, does, does it have something to do with um, government's policies or or, or, or it's just yes, so it's um, government policy for secular Australia. Secular Australia. Oh, shit. Yes. That, that sounds complicated. I have mm -hmm. zero experience with those things other than mm -hmm. um, the previous uh -huh. interviews we had. And I didn't actually do any re um, re research beforehand. Uh -huh. I would love to help you out with those things. No problem. Yeah. I'll uh, give you a little bit of an introduction later. Sure. Great. Thanks. Thanks. So yeah, um, no more, I have got more questions regarding, um, you know, ma making our e e escape um, from the civilized world, and uh, yeah, and uh, re regarding the um, re rejection of money and the current monetary systems. Um, so, well, uh, allow me to ask, um, how, how rigged do you think the current system is under Australian context? How rigged do you think this current system is? Is it very rigged? By the Sorry, just um, cutting out a little bit. Can you try that one again? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, politics. Uh, what, uh, yeah. Um, what I was trying to ask is how rigged, how rigged do you think the current system is under Australian context? Sorry, sorry, not not coming through at all at the moment. Uh oh. Seriously. Um. My bad. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Test, yep. test, test. Yep. Well, I was just asking... Cool, um, I think I've got you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was just a asking um, how rigged do you think the current system is under Australian context? How rigged do you think the current system is? Um, I would not call what we have a democracy. We don't have, uh, Australia doesn't um, have a genuine system of democracy. I think, oh, one second, I'm not getting through at all. Yeah, so, so uh, in other words, you, you, you don't Just think checking the ping. You don't think Australia currently has Sorry, a I, genuine system? I can't hear you at all. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god, shall I switch to another VPN channel? Shall I? Do you want me to make a switch now? Yeah, try it. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I will yep. hang up for now. Oh, okay. What's what? What on earth is going on here? Um, 
Okay, so I will see you in in a sec.